Good morning, world! It's the Monday morning, 5 o'clock hour, and you're tuned into Caffeinated, your favorite video talk show that gets you energized for the week ahead. I'm your host, Erin McGarrell, aka the Caffeine Queen. Last week, we talked about a few of the crazy trends that are happening in today's society. The Kiki Challenge. Dad stacking Cheerios on their babies. And the insane competition arising everywhere from this new game called Bag It. And followers even had a riot to try to get it into the Olympics. Anyway, this week is our one year anniversary as a video talk show. So to celebrate, we wanted to dedicate this episode to the man who changed the coffee game himself, former CEO of Starbucks Corporation, Howard Schultz. This man is an innovator in every sense of the word. And I don't know about you, but I thank God every day that he brought specialty coffee to America. <laughs> Although Howard is 887 on the Forbes list today with a net worth of $3 billion, he didn't get there from um, privilege. He definitely came from humble beginnings, grew up in Brooklyn, New York. In high school, he played starting quarterback and was able to earn a athletic scholarship to Northern Michigan University, and he was the first member of his family to graduate from college. He began his career in sales for Xerox and then moved on to a company called Hammerplast, which is a housewares company. By the age of 26, he was vice president and was totally changing how the company operated. But he would soon find out that his passion was in coffee. He decided to visit a client, Starbucks, in Seattle. And when he got there, he toured the store and roasting room and saw uh, that they sold whole beans, spices, and teas and was really inspired by their whole business concept. So he packed his bags and moved to Seattle and began to work for Starbucks uh, Coffee Company as their director of marketing. Then he took a business trip to Milan. He noticed that people there were drinking coffee on the street, were chatting, and it was more of an experience and part of your day and just a time to enjoy other people and coffee and just a whole new way of living. Inspired by his trip, Howard came back to the United States, pitched this idea of selling specialty espresso drinks in Starbucks um, to the founders, and they weren't really about it. So he decided to branch off and start his own business, and then to later come back and buy the Starbucks stores from the original founders. And that's how Starbucks got its beginnings in selling coffees in store. Today, the success of Starbucks is truly based in the innovative leadership of Howard Schultz. His innovations can be seen throughout the entire company. However, there are three major um, parts of his innovation that I want to talk about. So first, he kind of had an entire market innovation. He had the idea of bringing specialty coffee to America and bringing that experience along with it. Um, this new idea that that coffee is more of an experience than just something you drink um, was something that he took advantage of and saw um, could be very lucrative in the marketplace. And so he focused on the quality of the product and the experience in the store. And with that, he was able to build a very loyal customer base. Because of the financial success of his marketplace innovation, he was able to kind of create a business model innovation. He expanded the business very quickly in both the United States and internationally and was able to grow quickly without lowering the um, prestige of the brand. So he was able to keep that loyal base and the prestige of the Starbucks name. And finally, he focused on internal innovation. 
So he wanted to pay his employees well, offer them good benefits and opportunities to further themselves as people, and really make sure that they are trained and knowledgeable about what they do um, and all of that so they can further the customer experience and keep the Starbucks name um, held high. Howard Schultz, you inspire me. Thank you for all you've done for America, for coffee, for me. Specifically, I need coffee every day. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next week on Caffeinated.